What is going on guys? Trey coming back at your screen by means of the World Wide Web. And today for you guys we have a new event taking place here in the Vortex Gate, the Moonlight Parade. So it starts September 4th and September 10th. Light up your path on the darkest night to be guided by the moonlight. Ready your best festive look as you're all invited to the Mid-Autumn Moonlight Parade. Head to the Vortex and start gathering these unique synthesis materials. So you can get the moonlight, the moonlit essence, the spice pouch, the moon bug, and miracle drop. And these items are used to synthesize rare items, the lunar treat, which replenishes HP for three turns, the moon cake, which replenishes more HP, and the crescent dew, which revives one ally from KO status to 75% HP. That's a good item right there. And then if you complete the last mission, which is level 3 of this event, then you are able to get one of the synthesis materials necessary in order to create a very nice sphere called the Mystic Lantern, which is basically a sacred jewel, but with also a slight increase in your critical hit rate. So really nice sphere there, guys. Um, definitely be going for that one. Good stuff for sure. Um, I was already able to complete this event. As well as get the sphere. It's actually on my Melchio, I believe. Yeah, there it is. Mystic Lantern. Good stuff right there. So, let's go ahead and bring you guys the video, though. Definitely got to bring you guys the video so you know what's going on here. It's not too difficult of a... Oh, I don't got the energy. Oh, man. We'll use a gem. I don't want to wait. I do not want to wait. Let's do this. Um, Let's see. What friend? All right. Let's bring Kunal. Let's bring this guy. One of my few friends I haven't used yet for the day, so I can still get 10 other points. All right, let's do this. So, um, after you get the sphere, the only item, in my opinion, anyways, that's worth farming afterwards is that Crescent Dew. Really good stuff there. Um, really good stuff. That's a really good item. Put Revive and Revive Lights in second and third place for real. All right, so I'm just going to auto battle this because this squad here can smash things. But before I do that, I need to turn off the battle effects. Turn off the battle effects really quick. And we can just start smashing stuff, baby, because this squad is ultimate. All right, let's just turn that off and bada boom, bada boom. Continue. So really, pretty nice event here, guys. Make sure you get this sphere for sure, though. It's really nice. Very nice sphere. I, I had a sacred jewel on my Melchior before, but I just took it all just for that because it's, it's better. Honestly. Oh, I don't got Brave Burst on either. Man, what am I thinking? I better go cut that off. <laughs> Man, I'm all out of sync today. All right, turn that off. We'll turn on Brave Burst. Boop. There we go. Get to work. Do it. Just do it, bruh. SBB level 10 all around. Let's go. Good job, squad. I love this entire batch. The Melchior Batch, Loden, Michelle, Zelban, SGXTR, I love every last one of them. Really good units. Any one of those those six units, guys, make sure you max them out. SBB 10, they are worth it. Easily worth it. So, um, if you're able to farm this dungeon, you can uh, get some of these rare synthesis materials in order to um, craft some of the limited time supplies. Um, I'll show you guys uh, how to do that after we get done with the dungeon here, which will not be much longer. So this is a very powerful squad. One, two, three. Thank you. Thank you. Three light nymphs. 
and Claire's, huh? You're gonna get it. And those lightning nymphs got some high defense or what? I'm only taking one. Crazy. That's all right, though. We can do it. Yeah, I got the moon bug to drop out. That's what we needed. Five of seven, keep it rolling. They switch up the names of everything too. The thrilled pot, ecstatic nymph. <laughs> Letting you know it's party time. Ooh -wah, ooh -wah. <laughs> Go team. You can do it. I like the song that plays during the boss fight too. It's a little bit different. It's a little bit different, but it's still nice. Get on to the boss battle, baby. Work to do. Yeah, check out that music, baby. Uh, break it down, me. Mesmerized dancer. <laughs> Bada boom, bada bing. It is done. All right, guys. So usually, upon completion um of the level three dungeon here, the first time, you would get a gem and a necessary rare synthesis material called the Undying Flame, and I will explain to you the purpose of that here shortly. So we got our nice materials here. Sweet. Couple units. Brave burst food. All right, so you would get the gem, you would get the undying flame, and now let me show you guys what you would use that for. Go to the town, then you go to spheres, and then all the way down. There we go. See the mystic lantern. Now, I've already made one. You can only get one of those Undying Flames, guys, from beating the level 3 dungeon. So, I've already made the sphere, as you saw earlier. But, um, these are the materials you need in order to craft the sphere. The Undying Flame from the level 3 dungeon. Five honor pelts, five red pelts, five moon bugs, which you also get from doing the dungeon. And then, 5,000 karma. And, boom, you have a really nice sphere. So they limit you to one undying flame, so you can only craft one of these, unfortunately. But um, it's a really good sphere, guys. Be sure to uh, take out this level 3 dungeon and get your hands on it. Nice stuff there. Now, that's how you get the sphere. But the rare materials or the rare synthesized items, you got to go over here to the synthesis house here. And then it's the same story all the way at the bottom. Here are the, the rare synthesis materials you have. So you have the Lunar Treat here, the Moon Cake, and then the Crescent Dew. Revives one ally from KO status to 75% HP. Um, if you can work on getting these Crescent Dews, guys, you will not be disappointed. Um, I'm probably going to try to farm as many as I can. So I can start using those over revives and revive lights because I think that's really nice that it revives to 75% HP. 
instead of like the 3% HP that it does with um, the other two items. But there you have it guys. The Moonlight Festival event covered for you. Level 3. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please continue to like, subscribe, favorite, share, comment, and everything else. And I'll be back at your screen with more Brave Frontier Global soon, guys. Later.